day. Peace, love, and light. Welcome, powerhouse, to Rome. I'm Energy Goddess. Welcome to my channel. All right, today's reading is going to be for the Aquarius T. Whatever it is, we need to know what is the Aquarius's T. Okay, we're about to spill the beans. All right, welcome. Now, before we get started with the reading, the Aquarius T is basically going to give you um, the Aquarius T reading is going to give you a a, um, a deeper. I guess I want to say a deeper drop or download on um, what's going to be taking place during the Aquarius season for us all. Considering that Aquarius rules houses of family, connections, networking, all of these things. Um, we all have that Aquarius in our house because we all are affected by, you know, connections and people, and, right? It's the people that connect us, right? So that's the aspect of Aquarius that'll be coming out. I'm gonna drop the T on that. Alright. So what we're gonna do for everybody that's joining, we won't be answering any questions. Save your questions until uh the live that I tell you you could ask questions, okay? This is gonna be a collective drop. For us all, okay? Enjoy the reading. Enjoy the reading. Holy Spirit. Archangel Michael, I ask that you come down and place a hedge of protection around me and allow no harm to come to me. As I do these readings and these messages for the collective, thank you, Archangel. Archangel Jabril, I ask that you help me to communicate what it is I need to see, what it is I need to say for these readings. Thank you, Archangel. Okay. Let's go ahead and dig in here. What's coming out for Aquarius's tea? Let's get Aquarius tea. Connect me only to Aquarius tea right now. What's the Aquarius tea doing this? Season in Aquarius. What is the T? Okay, uh, you're gonna be muted if you ask questions, just so you know, just so we clear, all right? Y'all looking for somebody to answer y'all questions for free? Get somebody else to do it, okay? That's not what this is, okay? That's not that. Get up out of here. Get up out of here. Say, get up out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Aquarius. Aquarius don't be giving a fuck. And Aquarius is guiding us messages, so that's my um, attitude change. <laughs> Blame it on Aquarius. Because <laughs> Aquarius just don't give a fuck. Aquarius don't give a fuck. That's how they give it up. Shit, y'all got me hot as fuck, Aquarius. All right, now. Hold on, let me take my sweat off. OG, oh, hold on. Hold on, baby. Let me take my sweater off. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let's get, let's get Aquarius tea. Spill the Aquarius tea. What's the Aquarius tea? Okay, so I see six, six, six. Right now, during the Aquarius season, we're gonna have to reflect on our toxic habits and our self care more. Okay. Hi, welcome in you for it. Welcome in, boo. Welcome in the goddess, the goddess euphoric. Okay, so y'all reflect on your toxic habits and instead of going into the toxic habits, maybe focus on self-care more, all right? That's the message with that. <sighs> Tell me more about Aquarius's tea during this season. Tell me more. Okay, so the number seven, seven, sevens or sevens. 
you're going to start seeing these more often during the beautiful Aquarius season. This is telling you when you start seeing these sevens that you're in sync with the universe and that success is on the way. Okay. So when you see those sevens, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, goddess, it's Aquarius. Expectations. You're a magical being of light. Shine bright. You're earth angel. Okay, some of you guys might be Sagittarius. Don't have to be to be earth angel. Okay. No coincidences. I promise you, them 777s, when you keep seeing them, them is not coincidences. Please understand, those are not coincidences. These are happening to let you know that the universe sees you. You see the universe. You're in tune with that. You're in sync with the universe. And success is yours. It's on the way, babies. 444. Okay. Love to see it. This means also... The universe is supporting you, so trust your fucking power, please. The universe is supporting you. Trust your power as four people are in the fucking room. Come through, Holy Spirit. Come on now. Come on. Okay? And there was somebody, there was a cheater here in Aquarius season that's going to get caught. You're going to get caught. All of the secrets are going to come to the surface. Hmm? Yes, redhead. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, all of these secrets about to get blow the fuck up. All right, so I don't know who the fuck this is, but uh, you better stop playing with my motherfucking collective, cause Aquarius tea is gonna spill on you, and it's hot, <laughs> piping hot, <laughs> piping hot. Watch out. <laughs> all right, tell me more. Tell me more about Aquarius season. Holy spirit. Oh, there it is. 333. Three, three. Come on now. What that mean? The angels are near. They want to protect you. They want to help you. But the only thing is, is with the angels, with the divine, you have to ask. They don't just come down and be like, hey, I, I know you needed me. Boom. Here I go. You got to assert yourself. You have to speak to them. You have to do your part so that they can assist you. Okay. They're under contract. So they, they move according to the contract. And the contract specifically states that they can't come down and assist us and do anything to interfere with, with human life, right? And the decisions there in and of it, right? And so they don't unless we ask for their assistance, right? So remember that during the Aquarius season. That's the tea, y'all. Remember that, all right? Don't get stuck and be like, what do I do? Ask your angels, ask your guides. They're here, they're supporting you. The whole universe is conspiring to support you. Do you understand this? Like, this is fucking for real. I don't know who was cheating, but that shit's about to come out. Yeah, be thankful more. This is also the energy that you want to be in, Aquarius T. I need you to be more thankful. I don't give a fuck what's going on. Just be more thankful. Because it's always a situation in which it could have been worse. Something could have been worse. And in that instance, you have to be able to instantly be like, you know what? I'm grateful. Not because it could have been worse, but I'm grateful that it's not as bad. It's, it's not as heavy or whatever, right? Okay? You're heading into a new life. Okay? Yeah, something's about to backfire with this cheater. This shit is about to backfire. Excuse me, let me turn around for you. This shit is about to backfire. Somebody might have sent something. Don't dim your light because you might see this. You might really experience this shit with this cheater and lies coming out and all of that shit. Don't dim your light trying to motherfucking go back and attack nobody due to what you found out. It ain't no coincidence that the universe is working with you and putting you down to the, with the drops right now. You know what I'm saying? They putting you down with the drop to see if you've grown. They putting you down with the drop to see if you've learned a lesson from handling uh, obstacles and challenges the same. Do you handle it the same way or are you evolving? So this is going to be a test of the spirit right now. All right. Spirit is going to be testing you right now. All right. To see what kind of how you handle problems. Okay. So this is that refresher course right now for us. Look at that Aquarius. Come on now. Stop fucking playing with my Aquarius right now. Okay. Stop. Just stop. 
Aquarius. Yes! Pop your motherfucking shit. Welcome to the motherfucking Greek Aquarius. Ow. <laughs> Pop your shit. Okay, what else is coming out for Aquarius? This tea. Thank you. Treat yourself. Gift yourself. Do something nice for yourself. Also, fire came out. Pain. Control. Fear. Connect with the fire element. It helps you to learn how to have no fear. Um, it's a very powerful element to connect with when you want to um, call in your power and muscle up and rustle up your own power, fire. Okay, so connecting with this element during Aquarius season, it's going to be bomb as fuck. Gift yourself, do something nice for yourself, okay, during the Aquarius season as well. Tell me more. Is there anything else? Air. It's back out. Air. <laughs> Yo, I love Dolo when he say that shit. Like air. <laughs> it's flight, bitch. <laughs> oh, my fucking husband, y'all. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that is my motherfucking spirit husband, for real. You nobody's fool. Know that shit. You are nobody's fucking fool. What else came out? Money is on the way. Taurus is here as well. Yeah, you're nobody's fool collective. Don't let people try to play you like that. Sagittarius is here as well as Source. Ask for help. It's okay. Remember, I told you that? You have to ask for help. It's the only way that they can help you. They can't help you if you don't ask for this help. You have to ask for it. That's not how Source works. Source of know what's going on with you and just waiting for you. <laughs> okay? Okay? Just waiting on you to connect. Like, hey, hello. No, I'm here. I'm going to be here. Whenever. Are you coming? <laughs> <laughs> you going to join me? <laughs> <coughs> I'm just saying, y'all. Just got to give Source more credit. I don't feel like sometimes we do enough. Give Source more credit. The God you serve is the God within, okay? I need you all to know this shit, for real. This is big, big, big Aquarius T right now. The God you serve is the God within, all right? Connect me to Aquarius messages right now. What is it that Aquarius needs to see right now? What do we need to talk about right now? Major messages right here. So we're going to get the uh, messages here with this deck. We're going to just go ahead and activate our soul. What is it, the messages that will help us to activate our soul? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the messages to help us activate the soul? Ooh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sheesh. Soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who the fuck you are. Didn't I say that? This is all about you honoring the contracts. Remember I told you about the contracts between you and the most high. This is your soul star activation, y'all. I wanted y'all to read that shit, right? This is your soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are, okay? Yeah, Macurba, yeah, big energy, yeah, fuck yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck what I'm talking about. Come on now. Come on, collective. We on the rise. Fuck they talking about. Ain't nothing happening, no coincidence, okay? Expectations around you are going to be extremely high because you're an earth angel. All right? I need you to know that shit. These toxic things that might come up. During this season, reflect on it. See how you can uh, become your better self during this season, all right? It's not that you necessarily have to stop a certain thing or do a certain thing, but reflect on what it is for you personally, the God, the goddess, that you feel you need to take a look at to help you fulfill your soul contracts. What are these things that you feel like they will be? These are things that you need to... Um, uh, 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 come up with the answers with because I feel like when you connect with the divine, first of all, 
the most high, when you connect them with source, source already give you the answers. And then when you don't believe what source has said, the first time source is so good, the angels is so good, they'll confirm it and say it again. That's what is called a confirmation when they tell you again the same message. So that's what's going to be happening in Aquarius season. Like, so we looking out. This shit is powerful, yo. Like, God going to make sure you get this motherfucking drive. Because that's you. That's you. God not outside of you. Source not outside of you. It's within. As within, as without. As above, so below. Right? So we, we're remembering these contracts. Ooh. Ooh. Come through. <sighs> Look at this, y'all. Inner earth. Base chakra. Strength and security and laying foundations. Do you hear me? This is what you're going to be doing. This shit is the fucking D. When you talk about laying foundations, you might have to go and dig up some of that toxic shit that was in your foundation. Like, oh, this was an unstable board. Let me take this board out. Let me put a secure motherfucking steel beam here now for my foundation so we can be cool and we're not about to fall apart, right? This is that type of shit for analogy's sake, y'all. You see what I'm saying? Fixing that foundation, okay? Getting it right ready, okay? Ooh, I love it. And this is also about us connecting to that base chakra, right? That root chakra. And when you talk about going to the root of anything, this is where everything begins, right? When you go right to the root, because it grows from the root up, right? So going to the root is going to the, the base of it. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, you can honestly strengthen and secure any foundation when you go into the root of something. You never want to start off in, in an area like, if my foundation's fucked up, why would I start building at the top of my house? Or why would I start building at the top of the project, right? I'm going to go to the foundation, fix the foundation and work from the foundation up, right? And that's how your spiritual cultivation should feel and, and it, you should be experiencing it, right? For the most part, right? <clears throat> Look at this. Bottom of the deck. Star being healing codes. Important information. Wounds are healed and you are recharging. Okay? This is you recharging. Remember I said self-care, treat yourself? Yeah. 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 Star being healing codes are coming to you. There were things within you that you didn't know how to necessarily heal. You had to get the downloads. You had to get the drop. And just because source is within you doesn't mean that you're connecting to it. So now you're learning. Let me, how do I connect? What's my way of connecting? How do I strengthen that connection? And you know what, while I'm at it, how do I honor these soul contracts? You know what I'm saying? Like your evolution is taking you. Prince, could you get out of there? You know you're not supposed to be in here. Hello? He know I'm talking to y'all, so like he about to dead ignore me. Like I'm not even about to have a conversation with him because he like about to just he just opened my whole cab and just went in here. Thank God. I was gonna make my altar down there, but I'm just like, you know what? He ain't gonna do nothing but be messing with my stuff that I put down there. Anyways, back to Aquarius T. Yeah. So this is giving you a lot of important information. Also, these wounds, like, I feel like there were wounds within us as a collective that some of us, it was like, we like, damn, how do I heal this? So does this ever heal? And I feel like Spirit is trying to tell us, like, yes, it does heal. And yes, we will be okay. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like right now with this, you know, that's, that's a confirmation of the 666. You know, when it was talking about reflecting on your toxic habits and focusing on self-care, you know, uh, your star being healing codes are coming in so that you can actually heal and do some of this work. Because some of us, it was harder for us to maybe get to the healing aspect of this journey, you know, um, due to not being able to start the initiation process or not knowing certain things so this is the drop this is the t you know you will be getting those 
downloads, you know, and it will be coming through, right? The thing is, is you just have to connect. It doesn't just happen because you you happen to be black or you happen to be melanated or you happen to be carbonated. That's not how it works. It's not how it works. You're connected. You have powers, as we all do. The thing is, is if you don't connect to them, what good are they? That's like having a phone, right? And you walk around all day using it, and then guess what? If you don't plug it up to the power source, you can't recharge up and keep working it, right? So it's the same thing with us, right? We have to constantly connect to that source of power to recharge ourselves, right? And this is what's going to be going on during Aquarius T. Or Aquarius season, I'm sorry. This is Aquarius T reading. <laughs> but yeah. Gift yourself, do something nice. I definitely see that as being helpful. This isn't anything to do with your ego or anything to do with any of that. It's just to actually a part of your healing. You going out doing something nice for yourself, okay? This is a part of your healing. You going out doing something nice for yourself. And I got to say it again. This is for your healing. You doing something nice for yourself. Because a lot of times we'll get started on the journey and we'll be like hardcore rebels about this shit. Like, But at the same time, you still got to take care of yourself, okay? You still got to honor yourself. You got so much information within you that you still have to honor the vessel okay because you're the ancestors wildest dreams you you're what they they like what like yo the ancestors look at you like man you better worship you better motherfucker take care of that altar they be talking because they talking right now on the motherfucker reading it you know what i'm saying like they really do be talking to us and telling us what we need to do but we got to connect to that energy in order for us to know what it is that they saying. You know? So don't be afraid to connect to this energy, y'all, that's around us. Oh, shit. Damn, that was like... So let's get the um let's get the what are the soul's messages? What is it that the soul need to hear? Connect me more. Let's go dive a little deeper here for the Aquarius T. I don't want to stay too long on this message, but I do want to talk about what's gonna be coming up during Aquarius season. Cause this is the T. All right. Self-esteem. You heard me? Oh, come on, Holy Spirit. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. At this time, your gifts are going to be starting to come online. They probably already have. And you're going to start realizing that, you know, you got information that helps you and it helps other people. This shit is no coincidence. It's no coincidence that all of this is happening the way that it's happening, y'all. I need y'all to know, like, who you are. You guys are star beings. 
literally star beings. What else is coming out? Oh shit. So we got our death and courage. So while you build up your self-esteem, your courage will be raised. Okay. Death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So this doesn't signify a death, like an actual death, but so much as an ending of a situation or paradigms that maybe kept us blocked or kept us stifled in particular situations. Okay. And so this, at this time, this is going to be like a theme, you know. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, okay. So if before, you know, you were feeling not confident, now you start to have more confidence and courage to face whatever you need to face. This period. Have patience. That's at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Have patience. Chance with yourself. All right. For real. For real. Matter of fact, let's use this deck. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you. Thank you, Kainite. <laughs> You're the best. What crystals are you guys working with right now? I would definitely suggest crystal therapy for those of you who are thinking of doing something nice for yourself. Um, as Just as a suggestion, not something that you have to do. That's not per the read. But this is what I'm picking up, that some of us need more crystal therapy. Now, crystals aren't meant for you to go and buy them and collect them and put them on your dresser and let them collect dust, okay? Those crystals are probably more ancient and more powerful than you know, okay? I just need you to know that. If you're that type of person that this is what you do with your crystals, okay? These are ancient blood of the universe, okay? These are tools, things that they left behind the ancestors, so that we can connect with them and we can connect back, right? Because the thing is, is that being in the world, it's so easy to forget, right? Not staying grounded with source. It's so, so hard to, it's so easy to forget, right? Where you come from. So utilize the crystals, y'all. These are here to help us, okay? They talk about them in all the books, okay? Lapis Lazuli. Okay, talk about that in the Bible. And I think the Quran. Okay, sage, all that stuff. They talk about it in, in, in the books, guys. Okay, don't be afraid of your herbs. Don't be afraid of your crystals. These are holy things, okay? Also kind of falling out of those old paradigms that once kept you trapped, okay? And some of these, for some of you guys, might be religion. Some of them may be, Okay. And I'm not saying just because you found your spirituality means that you'll fall off from your religion. It just means that you'll be more aware. You being spiritual because being spiritual allows you to see yourself, okay? And honor the vessel, honor the altar, appreciate it, right? And in that, there's a huge power that you are able to have and embark upon and live a totally different life based on um, you connecting to that energy of source. But you got to get grounded. You got to get focused. You got to get intentional. You got to get mindful. You know what I'm saying? So this is what this is about. There's no coincidence anything you're experiencing right now. All of the information all the way up till now, it's no coincidence. Like, this shit was brought here to you so you could fucking unlock your DNA. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. So let's get the tarot messages here. Holy Spirit. What is the T? Aquarius's T. in the seven of pentacles i see us definitely working 
tediously at this. This is gonna take hard work, but it's worth it, okay? Because us connecting on a deeper level to spirit allows us to have this connection with source, with the divine, right? That um, makes anything possible in our universe, just period, okay? Because a lot of times we couldn't see or we didn't know how things would be possible. That's because we weren't connecting to the most high. When you see limits or when you see things that you can't do, that's because you're not connected to the most high. I used to have this one friend. Every time I would tell her something, she'd be like, well, how you going to do that? And how you going to raise your kids with no ID? And this and that. I said, listen, I don't, I'm an unlimited being. For every fucking problem, I have a solution. I will come up with a solution. And this is the type of mind state that you're going to start to grasp. This is just Aquarius T. Because you're no longer going to ask questions. You're going to, and when those problems are presented to you, immediately you're going to solution based, you know what I'm saying? Understanding. Instead of staying stuck in a problem. And that's a lot of times what kept us stuck and unable to move forward. So during Aquarius season, this is going to be coming about. And it's going to be transformational because, transformational, is that even a fucking word? It's going to be transformative because it's going to have to do with a lot of the relationships that we have with people, okay? Aquarius is all about the collective conscious, the collective, right? And so this is going to be like a main theme, and you'll start to see all those fake people for who they are, you know? You'll start to see who's the real, who's the fake. Why do they keep me around? Why do they want me around? What's my purpose? You know what I'm saying? Why do I keep them around? What's their purpose? How does this relationship benefit each other? You know what I'm saying? Et cetera, et cetera. Okay? The value of relationships, the necessity, the need, et cetera. It's going to be so clear to you during Aquarius season. Okay? That's the T. Let's get some tarot. That's the T. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. And then the chariot, okay? There's going to be a lot of things that are going to be offered to you. I feel like take a chance. Don't be afraid to take a chance. You know what I'm saying? Take a risk. I feel like the risk is you taking it on yourself, though, this time, you know? Taking a risk on yourself. I feel like Spirit is trying to offer us so many things with this Four of Cups message. It's like, allow it. You know, um, this will take a lot of hard work from us and a lot of effort. It will take that, okay? But as long as we're willing to follow spirit through on this, we should be fine, okay? We'll be fine. All right? Tell me more. What else is coming out here for tomorrow messages? Five of Swords and the Page of Wands. So enthusiasm is going to be a big thing right now during this time. Remember I said gratitude, being thankful, being happy, all of that good positive energy because you're coming up against energies that are going to, not everybody is going to be in that acceptance of where they are and the information that's being dropped on us, right? Now everybody's going to be in agreement to that, right? So certain energies are going to be pushing against us in the opposition. So you have to know that's why they want you to keep that vibe, keep your vibes high. So you don't have to feel like it's you that feels that. You'll be able to feel when that happens to you and you get opposition, you'll be able to feel like that's their shit. That's not my shit. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Let me keep going doing, trucking on like how the fuck I've been doing. Why? You know you'll be able to discern between shit when you keep your vibes high. You know what I'm saying? Between your energy and other people's shit, you know, and this is also um, a lot of what disappointed you in the past because you, you carried a lot of other people's shit that was going on with them, you know what I'm saying? And instead of just focusing on your journey, your progress, where you're going, right? Um, a big part of this as well is going to be a lot of deception, right? We got this beautiful Uranus energy and Uranus is just here to be like, doing its job because obviously that's the planet that Aquarius you know that's a, the planet of Aquarius is, is a, a planet is a Uranus right the sign Aquarius is planet is Uranus so um, that's why I feel like the seven of cups here with a lot of 
it's not really deception, but it's like it's, things are gonna present to you as if they're really options, but they're really not. You know what I'm saying? And so you're going to have to be very upbeat and very high vibing to be able to use your discernment properly, okay? Um, just on some real shit. And you'll be constantly tweaking that along the way with this uh, five of swords and what I understand. Um, what else? Is there anything else that's coming out for the Aquarius tea? What else is coming out? Okay, so we got the world. Wow, a lot of lessons. Wow, the fucking fool. New beginning in the Ace of Cups, okay? Bottom of the deck is in the Four of Wands, all right? Find your happiness. Find your tribe. Find your the people that vibe like you, just period. High as fuck, okay, during the Aquarius season. Because they're, they'll be around. But you got to be tapped in to find them, right? You know what I'm saying? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they're here. Six of Cups. Yeah, some of these will be like, some 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 of you guys will be meeting people from the past. Will be reuniting with people from the past. Wow. So some of us this will be like people from the past. So this Ace of Cups talks about our healing and that energy of really stepping into that. This is if these are endings. You know what I'm saying? How beautiful must my future look like? You know what I'm saying? Like, because we all know that with every ending, there's a beautiful be new beginning, you know? And that's what the fool here is representing, that beautiful new beginning, right? And so with us being able to heal, us being able to acknowledge where we are, right? Development-wise with the world, you know, accepting these lessons and these tough um challenges we've been on right but still honoring the process right still honoring the altar honoring others um loving others genuinely walking in integrity and pure dignity um takes us out of the spiral of um self-sabotage you know that sort of energy that some of us could have been on in the past, you know? So this is beautiful, right? Oh, also I see Page of Cups. Looks like love for some of us here. Page of Cups behind the love, behind it is the lovers, okay? So, and then I see the Five of Wands, so behind that I see the Knight of Cups. So there is someone possibly hanging on to you in your energy with Aquarius season. And let me just tell you, they're hanging on because they're a fucking cheater and their secrets came out and now they wish they didn't do that to you. They wish that they would have been stronger and not succumb to the temptations and the pressures of life, but they did, okay? And when it came out, I think some of you guys wanted to save this person, but you're gonna end up saying, I choose me. And that's painful sometimes because it's like you're so used to giving for and being there for everybody else, right? Who's ever there for us, right? And so these will be huge parts of our healing and epiphany moments that we're coming into with Aquarius season, right? Making good decisions here with the two of wands to choose ourselves. And it doesn't mean that all the people that's getting a reading, they the people had to cheat on them. But it could be just like this honesty. It could be um, whatever it was, right? Um, it wasn't real. So we don't respect it, okay? So it was that, right? Um, and uh, yeah, all these secrets are starting to come out. And, you know, a part of that is, hey, it was no coincidence that everything happened the way that it happened. And now we got to move forward, right? Um, what's this? So, yeah, we have the judgment. Now people during Aquarius season, they will be getting judged. Hearts needs to be light as a feather. This is a time of judgment, okay? What people are doing, they will be judged for, okay? They're always being judged for, but sometimes people want to forget or cover that up or hide that. It's irrelevant, okay? We all have this uh, human body, you know, but we're spirits having this human human experience, you know? We're the soul having a human experience. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're being judged. That's why, you know, uh, the Most High is looking down and, and, 
you know, it, it's connecting, and we know that. And so this is us connecting to that, the most high, you know what I'm saying, that source within the oneness, okay, of the collective consciousness. And that's pretty much what I got for the Aquarius tea. Let me know how you guys like this reading. I love you guys. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.